So I'm getting a lot of questions coming in and people are saying is all money out still possible? How did you manage to do an all money out deal? What's going on guys? Welcome to another week in my life. This is a really positive start to my week because um, on Friday I actually got some really good news that my latest property deal I was able to pull out all of my money on. So the money's came back, landed in my account, and I'm just super happy guys, because it's taken me about 13 months to do that deal. So super excited. Take you along with me this week, show you what I get up to in the life of a property developer, guys. So stay tuned and um, like, comment, subscribe. So I've already got the keys for the next project. I'm excited to crack on with that. Build team's ready to go. Purchase the next one for 175,000 pounds, and I'm gonna be spending roughly 50K on it altogether. So yeah, um, very excited to show you the whole journey. Right, I'm just going to Holland and Barrett because I don't have any energy drinks, but I want one. This one right here. Let's try tropical food. So I'm getting a lot of questions coming in and people are saying, um, is all money out still possible? How did you manage to do an all money out deal? To be honest with you, the market really helped me. Um, I do think that if I was to do that type of deal now, number one, you'd be buying the same property for a lot more, but the end value would be the same. So I do think it's getting a lot harder to do all money out deals. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible, but I do think it's getting a lot harder to do just because the market basically boomed. Um, so the last deal I did where I pulled all the money back out, I did that one simultaneously with another one that I pulled all the money back out on. And I did them, I purchased them both at the same time. So I bought it at the right time and it, the market really did jump up a lot. So that helped me to put all the money back out. So do I think all money out deals are possible? Yes, but they're very hard to do guys. I've probably done around nine or 10 deals and only about three of them have been all money out. But a lot of them have been where I'm able to pull out 70% or 80%, but I've always had to leave in a big lump of cash, of capital there. But yeah guys, I just thought I would share on that because I just want people to know that it's not the norm. It's not like all my deals are all money out deals. No, that's not the case guys. It's honestly, it's a lot. That's just not the case. So I just thought I'd be very clear on that. So I just had another great session at the gym. Things are going really well fitness wise lately. Um, been dropping weight, been eating healthy. Yesterday though, I did have a major F up and I had uh, this thing called Sweet Cheese, which is basically like a really, really nice dessert place in Nottingham. So if you're in Nottingham, check out Sweet Cheese if you want something really tasty. Now I've got a Zoom meeting with an investor that I've been working with for the last four years actually. Um, she was one of my very early investors. And to be honest with you, I get on really well with her. She's um, been a big part of the success of some of these property deals. Um, so yeah, she's always been just a hands-off fixed return investor. However, now I'm potentially looking to do a group joint venture with her because she's got enough money to do a group joint venture, but not necessarily a joint venture on her own. Because the typical deals I like to do, they usually cost around 100,000 to 150,000 to do. Um, obviously I do five beds for, I've done five beds for, you know, 75, 80K. So I do still do smaller type of deals, but I am looking to do larger HMOs. So yeah, I'm gonna have a call with her now. My assistant's jumping on the call too. I'll try and record some of the call and actually put it onto this video. Let's make sure I don't crash. Guys, petrol prices right now are actually mad. <laughs> oh yeah, cookies and cream. What flavour would you guys go for? Cookies and cream or white chocolate? I'm gonna get one of these and one of these. Have like one sort of paid, it'll say the 
the property address and the company name. Then you'll have like the full address, director details, uh, any sort of company documents and like agreements. So any of the signed contracts that you sign will be in this section. Any more, like literally everything will be, will be kind of be in one sort of hub. You'll have the utilities and everything. So it gives you like full transparency to all the documents we receive and kind of what's going on. To wait a long, long time before we can refinance. And I know that's not ideal for anybody. So I think that yeah. with this group joint with the group joint venture, you're gonna get monthly profits gonna be higher because it'll be a HMO. Um, we've got the ability to refinance, so you'll be getting a lump sum back. And then in five to seven years, you can fully exit out. So you'll be receiving back all of your investment plus some capital appreciation. Now I can never guarantee that because I don't know the market. However, um, I say five to seven years, it will more likely be five. However, I want to keep it open. For example, if the market is not that great after the five years, we might want to wait till the sixth year or the seventh year. Someone, same with a builder. I'm saying, Mr. Builder, I want to develop into a. What's going on, guys? It's Tuesday morning, and I'm starting my day by listening to the Property by Kazi podcast. Definitely recommend it. Check it out, guys. It's really, really good and informational. This here is a vision board for me. I really want to get something in Dubai. So that's like an apartment in Dubai. Obviously, I don't own this. This is a vision board just to be put it out there. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. And then this is what I'm going to do too. 35 bed, 50 bed, 29 bed, 10 bed. These are just some of the things I'm really wanting to achieve so I'm trying to lower attraction it but for now let's go and pick up these keys I'm just about to go and pick up the keys for another purchase this one is a joint venture um, this one myself and my business partner we've been buying this one um, over a period of about three or four months kind of dragged on a little bit but we finally got to completion day so I'm just about to go and pick up the keys now so yeah this one is going to be a HMO and yeah I'll show you the full process right guys just got the keys now I'm going to head over to the property show you happy days you're in good nick or you might not want to go ahead with this and it kind of come from there because you really delve into someone's financial so i've got a bit of a headache today but you know what today is a good day i've just gone to pick up the keys for a joint venture project um so myself and the partner on this one we purchased the property for one hundred and seventy-five thousand pounds so yeah guys i'm not going to go too much into the deal because certain privacy reasons we have to keep certain things private but I've just picked up the keys and I'm gonna show you inside right now. I'm trying to find a locksmith to basically get some keys cut, but it seems to be harder than I thought. I don't really fears. I don't really know where the locksmith is around here that will get me these keys cut. But these. So now it's time to show you inside. Right guys, so I've got the keys right here. Right. We are in guys. Hopefully there's no squatters or anything. <laughs> but yeah, we're in. I'm gonna just lock this behind me. Right guys, we are in. Already you can hear an echo because the ceiling height of this property is really high. So I love this property guys, I honestly do. Um, it's such a big property. Like you wouldn't know how big this property is until you actually go inside it. So we picked this one up for 175 and we're gonna spend roughly about 50, 56 on it. But look at the archways we've got here guys really nice property often go for these victorian style properties but let me flip the camera and show you the actual property enough of seeing my face let me show you the property okay so this is the entrance as you walk in and then this leads on to a large room here as you can see we have the big bay window here and the property is actually in really nice condition as it is I wouldn't say nice condition, but I'd say it's in a decent condition. You already got fire doors. This is a very similar layout to the one I've just picked up. Um, one of my own personal projects I've just purchased. Leading on in here, this is the current situation of the property. 
currently we have this really ugly kitchen this will all be being ripped out but interestingly enough behind this kitchen is a stud wall that's been built so we need to rip it down and see exactly what it is however shouldn't be an issue i don't think but my partner's on this one really nice couple and to be honest with you they're just great people so i'm happy to be on board with them this area obviously this is the hallway a bedroom in there this leads to upstairs right here look at the lights coming in looks really good so this is the bathroom bathroom looking decent but this will all be ripped out this pink room this is going to be ripped out too go ahead and take you to the second floor so we're currently on the first floor let me take you to the second floor this is up here decent that's nice skylight anyway right now I need to go and find some someone to cut these keys so everyone's got a set of keys and as soon as that's done we'll catch up again so the new kitchen is probably going to be one long thing here it's going to be a really long kitchen but we're going to build in like a breakfast bar as well so it's going to look super great the tenants are going to love it and it's going to be really functional so the tenants should really love love this property to be honest with you um i would love to live here once this is done this is going to look so good we've got a really good budget we've got a build team lined up so it's all systems go right now right guys i've just got these cut time to go back to the property to take lots of before and after pictures oh so tired today guys honestly i didn't sleep too good last night i was playing on call of duty believe it or not to try and relax and then i realized it's not actually that relaxing when you're getting killed what's going on guys it's wednesday we've got a big day today excuse the noise in the background that's just my washing machine um but yeah today we're just handling business and got some exciting stuff going on but right now first step is go to the gym it's about 8 30 oh sorry it's 8 50 um but i've already done quite a lot today so yeah it's time to go to the gym and then from there i've got a fire risk assessment to do well i've just got to let someone in um for the fire risk assessment so yeah that should be good and get that all ticked off and then yeah it's just a case of property life we should be getting another set of keys today um for another joint venture project that i'm doing so yeah i'm literally just documenting the journey that's why i'm doing this whole youtube is to kind of document my journey so when i'm older i can kind of look back but also i want to help you guys and i also want to work with new partners so that's kind of why i'm putting myself out there but my subscribers i love you appreciate you but remember please drop a comment and hit the thumbs up like button thank you that's how we do it starbucks all day every day not really but yeah i love starbucks guys yeah i love starbucks i'm just about to get a hello hi there please can i get a ice latte um with eight pumps of sugar-free caramel syrup and can i get one extra shot of coffee inside and an extra shot of coffee in that ice latte anything else for you today uh that's it thank you that's five pounds fifteen as an next thing though okay thank you so much cheers 12 doors and fitting is gonna cost but to be honest with you guys check out my instagram ln capital check out my instagram guys thank you mate i do lots of content on there to be honest what's going on guys this is actually pretty cool today because i'm actually able to show you guys one of my finished projects because it's currently empty because we have this one on airbnb booking.com we're actually running it as a short stay accommodation and yeah the guests just checked out i had a fire risk assessment on this property so now's a perfect time for me to show you guys the end result the end product so yeah this one here it was a three bedroom end of terrace house that i've converted into a five bedroom hmo this one's a joint venture and yeah it's soon to be a full-on hmo we're just waiting for the license to be approved the reason we put it on airbnb is because we have someone that's made us a really juicy offer to lease this property from us to do support accommodation with it um, so it'll still be a hmo um 
So yeah, we thought let's put it on service accommodation until we get the license approved because they can only take it on when we have the HMO license approved on it. So without further ado, let me show you this property. One other quick thing though, I purchased this property for one, four, five, and we spent around 42K on it. So yeah, guys, that's including furniture. So right, let me show you, let me show you. As I'm gonna start in here. So this is the communal area. As you can see, we have a nice feature light right here. This mirror area, this is actually the boiler. So the boiler is in that unit there. So we thought we'd cover it with a nice bit of boxing in there. And we have a nice sofa. We only got this sofa for about 400 pounds, to be honest with you. This feature clock was 100 pounds. I like it. What do you guys think? It's a little bit messy at the moment, just because we've just had some guests that were using the property and it's not been cleaned just yet. In this area is we actually added in this communal bathroom. So, as you can see, we built all this, this stud work. And we have a nice communal bathroom in here. Nice, lovely mirror. So I actually chose all of the interiors in this place. This was all chose by myself. Um, and we went for the herringbone floor. So if you can see here, this is what you call herringbone floor. This is actually laminate herringbone. So yeah, the boiler's in there. So this is the kitchen. Again, I love the finish on this one. We actually kept this kitchen and we just sprayed it. The herringbone floor, I think really complements this kitchen. We used a company called Sprayways on this kitchen. And yeah, I'm really happy with them. It cost us around 1,000. 300 pounds to spray this whole kitchen. So they actually took they took the doors off, they resprayed them completely and added them back on. Got this nice double fridge here. Matched the door color. So we went for the gray doors. Emergency lighting, smoke alarms, and carbon monoxide detectors. But yeah, let's move upstairs. So the hallway, went for a nice mirror there. So this is the hallway. Grey doors looking very powerful. These lights here are actually on a sensor, so they're emergency lighting, but it's actually on a sensor. So the tenants won't just keep on abusing the electricity. Have another one of these mirrors. All of the furniture in this place was provided by Sublime Furnishings. So this room obviously is messy because someone's been in here. But again, we have an ensuite bathroom in here this is the final room but right now guys I've actually got to go because I have a site visit with somebody so I'm going to check out their project give them some advice on their project and hopefully help them out. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that and I'll show you when I'm there. Right, what do you want me to call you and stuff like? Watch. Spen. Spen, yeah. Yeah, well, what I thought. Do you have, do you have, like a, uh, do you have a business name or anything? What's going on guys? I'm here with Ben, who's basically doing up a property in Nottingham. And you know what guys, it looks really, really good. It looks like there's a lot of potential on this one. So Ben, how you doing, mate? All good, thanks. I'm good, 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 good. So yeah, guys, uh, a little bit shy on camera, but hey, soon. <laughs> I know I'm going to be on his vlog soon, I bet. But yeah, this is uh, the property, so it's pretty outdated. So Ben, are you able to talk us through figures on this one? And then I got it for 145, but then luckily I got down valuation on it uh, at 130. So I managed to secure it for 1375 in the end. Wow. But just literally rip it all, rip it all out. Guys, watch this space. Stay tuned, because I'm sure Ben's going to smash this project. Hopefully. Yeah, you will, man. I will. You will. I've got the faith. I've got the faith <laughs> in you. But yeah, nice one, Ben. Cheers. Thanks. I'm with it. Yeah, that's wicked, man. I'm honestly rooting for you, mate. It's looking good. Herringbone all the way. If you're doing a refurb project, bang in some herringbone. I think it will help with your valuation, to be honest. 
Right guys, I know this this is not the best, but I just got this new burger from McDonald's. But I didn't get fries, I just got water with this new burger. Okay, and I got a fruit bag as well. So I'm really trying to be healthy right now, but I couldn't resist to try this out. Look at that. Simply amazing. I'll let you guys know a full review of the new muck spicy. Muck spice. What? Yeah, I've literally it's so easy to record, like I've got the camera on me right now, it's dead easy. Um, so I okay. think, honestly, I feel like moving away from that particular videographer was the best thing I could have done. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta, innit, just move on to bigger and better yeah, things. Yeah, negative, like, situation ends up being a blessing and it's inside, so. Yeah, that's yeah. Really good. it is, innit? Keep left. What do you do? Have you got like a, a team that does the YouTubes in fact? To be fair, I did, yeah. yeah. But you kind of left me in the shit, to right. be honest. So you just do it yourself? I do it myself now. Yeah, nice. Because you can't rely on no one. So, today is Thursday. It's 5.45. And I'm about to go and pick up the keys for another project. So this one here. Just completed on it today. This one here is a very big house. We picked this one up for two hundred and fifteen thousand pounds. Massive shout out to my guy, my joint venture and uh, partner on this deal, because um, this is my first one I've done with him. So, yeah, I'm excited to be working with him, and um, we're actually doing another one as well. I'll show you as soon as I get the keys. I'll take you inside. But today I've actually had an interesting day. I went to Sheffield to do a little bit of coaching. So a bit of a bit of a site day to be honest. I went to someone's building that they own. It's part commercial, part residential. They've smashed it. They did a really great job on the deal. But they just wanted some advice in terms of mortgaging, next steps, what they should kind of be focusing on, what strategy, how much they would be looking to spend, etc. etc. So yeah, two awesome guys, and it was great to meet them as well in Sheffield. So now I'm just driving back to Nottingham. Because as you know, if you've been following me for a while, all of my properties are in Nottingham and that's where I focused on. That's where I'm focused on. So yeah, I hope you guys have all had a great day and let me show you the property as soon as I get the keys. But that was the most creepiest thing. Like I've gone into the house and I just felt like I am not staying here on my own. It was creepy, like it's so dark in there, there's no lights on. I was going I went there to take like before pictures and before videos. I don't even want to stay in there. It's flipping scary up in there, to be honest with you. But anyway, bloody hell, just dropped my camera. But anyway, guys, I'm checking out. That's me done for today. I need to call this one a day. It's about nine o'clock. I need to stop working and just chill. What's going on, guys? Just like I promised, we are here, back at the house. It's Friday. Just believe me, this house stinks, but I'm going to show you around. Okay, guys, so, Right here, this is the new purchase. We've just purchased this place. Myself, and one of my joint venture partners, we just bought this place. And we picked this one up for 215,000 pounds. Now, I know you might be thinking that's, norm that's more than I normally spend. However, the area it is a lot better than the other areas that I usually buy in. So, hence why we've kind of spent that extra for the location. This is the bathroom. This wall is going to be demolished. So, we're going to demolish that wall. All of this is going to be a nice kitchen and we're gonna have a bedroom in this area over here so down here is gonna have one bedroom over there kitchen living kitchen living kitchen living area this wall is gonna be demolished and the kitchen living area is gonna go all the way through here and through in here So it should be really nice and then we're gonna keep that bathroom as it is. This is the garden. 
So yeah guys, that's this property. We're gonna be converting it into a HMO. Um, just got the keys for it yesterday, completed on it yesterday. And this one is a joint venture. It's gonna be a six bed. That's all I can really say on this deal right now. But, there's something about this deal which is a little bit different to what we usually do. Best believe me, it, it does really smell bad in here, but let me show you. One place I'm not going is the top, top room. Because it's just, you have to climb up some jaggedy stairs. I don't really want to risk it for a chocolate biscuit. But yeah, let me show you the rest of the house. Showed you the ground floor. This actually leads on to the third floor. Sorry, the second floor. This leads on to the second floor up there. And this is the first floor guys, obviously it's a little bit creepy, it's a little bit conjuring, looking like some horror movie, but it's not too bad, books, it's just pretty creepy to be honest, like he's got horror books there, um, maybe some of this stuff's worth money, I don't know, it just looks like collections of stuff. Look, you know when you've got those scary dolls? It is creepy, isn't it? Is it just me or is that creepy? That's it for today. I need to go home, head to the gym super early. It's about eight in the morning. So I need to just go back home and just sort my stuff out. And then uh, I'll take you on the rest of the day with me. But today's Friday, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this week in the life as well. Honestly, do. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you want me to show you more of my personal life stuff like that so yeah just let me know what you want to see it'll be really helpful for me okay so right now i'm listening to the andy graham podcast i have my blonde roast ice latte with eight pumps with eight pumps of sugar-free caramel syrup i have a turmeric shot just for the health benefits what's going on guys so it's currently saturday to go and meet with uh, my assistant Ajiro and some of the J JV partners that are on that deal. Um, Neve and Dom, shout out to them. It's gonna be good catching up with them. And it's a lovely day, nice and sunny. Don't ask me why I'm wearing a black tracksuit, but I just came from gym. Now, I know, obviously the title of this video is All Money Out, so I wanna really get into that topic of All Money Out. Now guys, what is my thoughts on All Money Out? So. Out of nine deals, as I said, I've done roughly about three all money out deals. Is it possible? Yes. Is it very hard to do? Yes. But sometimes you might be able to pull out a big massive chunk of money on the first refinance. But on the second refinance, then you might be able to pull out the rest. So obviously, as we know, capital appreciation in property is a, it's a great thing. So I think when we're buying, we're buying for cash flow but also capital appreciation. And then also, can we refinance and pull out a lot of the money? So there's three kind of aspects to it, but I think it's important that we don't neglect any aspect and we just basically try and do a deal that ticks a lot of boxes. So I kind of take a lot of pride in the fact that I'm able to deliver on really good deals. So for me it's a case of managing expectations with people i'm working with and letting people know that 100 percent money out is very it's unlikely um statistically if you look at all the deals i've done it's about what i guess 30 percent likelihood of us doing that but what is likely is that we're going to be able to pull out half of your money or 60 70 80 percent of your money that's what's likely to, to happen so I think I'm, when I'm working with people now, it's a case of managing the expectation to a point where if someone's not happy you're leaving in a chunk of money, we're not gonna do a deal. We're just not gonna do that. So just something I thought I would touch on briefly is I love having a lot on. I love having multiple projects running at the same time. Um, so for me, I'm just enjoying the whole process and a big part of me doing this YouTube is so I can look back when I'm older and kind of get a gauge from my mindset, what I was thinking. That's why I have to be 100% real with you guys. I can't be like beating around the bush. I'm not telling you how it is. Right now, I do feel pretty much stress-free. Um, so yeah, um, I do feel good right now in what I'm doing. Things are working well. 
a lot of the partners I'm working with now, we're actually going to be working on a long, long term basis. So like we've got plans to basically do multiple deals. It's not just going to be like a one deal here and a one deal there. To be honest with you, I prefer it with uh, my joint venture partners when we have like a long term strategy. So we want to do multiple deals together. That's what I prefer to do. Um, but obviously, sometimes it might just be a one off deal I do with someone and that's okay. But I am kind of looking for more long term business relationships and partnerships that we can grow. I'm just in a specific area which I'm not going to name for privacy reasons, but I've just linked up with my two of my joint venture partners on the deal that we just purchased, picked up the keys for it this week, and we just went and just basically caught up, spoke to them, seen how they're doing, and now. We're just heading back and with a Jiro as well. Hi. And we're basically gonna go to another one of the projects to check some gas meter thing to see that if we do have gas connected to the house, because I don't think we do, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue, I don't think. So we'll let you know how that goes and we will see you when we are there. And I just took the wrong turn. Great. Bloody Nora, took the wrong turn. <laughs> but oh well, we'll find a house some way, somehow. But anyway, as Johnny Depp would say on the Pirates of the Caribbean, shiver me timbers, and I'll see you in a bit. Right guys, welcome to the horror. The horror of Nottingham! <laughs> Literally, there is a weird feeling, it's eerie in here. It's really, I oh, don't feel me. It's proper eerie, I don't like it. Really? Oh, yeah. But you went right At least it's not just top. me. You went right to the top last time on the viewing, I didn't. You know you went right to the, like, is it Loft? Yeah, I yeah. don't know. I've been up there a few times, but honestly. Did you got there last night, not last night, the night you came up. Nah. Yeah, thank you. Hell no, I ain't doing that. That's what I thought you should do. Nah. I feel like, before the refurb starts, all the subscribers should like, and if we can get 10K likes, yeah. you go up at night at 12 minutes by yourself. 10K likes? <laughs> all right, I'll do it. All right, if this video gets 10,000 likes, yeah, I'll do that. I'll go sleep up there before the refurb starts, Sleep, yeah? that's even better. Yeah, I'll do but that. But you have to show them it now so they can see how scary it'll be at night. All right, I'll show you. That's what I've got to do. Let me show you. All right, guys, so this is the creepy... So, is saying I should go up here so I can film it. Oh, my God. I've already been up quite a few times, but... This is it, guys. So I will sleep up here if this video gets 10k likes. Right, so I'm just here with Ajiro. We've Hi. just we've come we've come to sort some basically like a gas issue out. Yeah. Um, but it should be fine. We should be able to sort it out. Mm -hmm. uh, point your wife has now informed us that she intends to take proceedings against you in respect of divorce and the matrimonial home. Oh my we god. Feel that it would be she mm -hmm. took him to the cleaners and back. She took him to the cleaners and back. Oh my. Guys, honestly, I do feel a little bit bad, but hey, this is part of it, right? I feel like, yeah, I need to just not offend anybody, but yeah, that's crazy. So the house that we just, so they the house. They were fighting over the house, basically. She wanted the house, or she wanted him to buy, a, buy her out. Fucking hell. And now we've got the Be careful house. who you marry, guys. <laughs> yeah, guys, remember that big good tip that is. That kind of makes the whole situation even more scary. Yeah, proper. Bloody hell, guys. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this week in the life video. If you have, remember, smash the like button. We need to get to 10k so you make me sleep up in there. Please do. Come on, guys. We need him up there. We need to be, like, terrified. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so you heard it right here. 10k likes, and I'll sleep up there.